two numbers are in the ratio of 7 is to 5. On diminishing each of them by 40, the ratio becomes 27 is to 70. The sum of the numbers is here. Two numbers are in the ratio 7 is to 5. That means sum of these two numbers is 7x plus 5x is equal to 12x. That means sum will be divisible by 12. So here option A and option C are eliminated. Only option B or option D will be your answer. So apply the second step here. That is when you subtract 40 from each number. When you subtract 40 from each number. Your ratio will become 27 is to 70. That means 27x plus 17x is your new sum that is 44x. So new sum will be divisible by 44. What is new sum? 12x minus 80 is your new sum. 12x minus 80 is your new sum. Because when you subtract 40 from each number you are subtracting 80 from original sum. In initial sum that is 300 minus 80 is equal to 220 is your new sum and 220 should be divisible by 44. Here 220 is divisible by 44 so option B is your answer. When you take 240, 240 minus 80 is equal to 160 and 160 is not divisible by 240. 160 is not divisible by 44. So, option D is eliminated. So, you can apply the option method or direct method. That is, direct method is you have 7 is to 5 is your initial ratio and 27 is to 17 is your final ratio. And the difference is 40 here. But, Difference between 5 and 17 and 7 and 27 are not equal. To make it equal, take the difference between 27 and 17, that is 10, and multiply it with 7 is to 5. Then take the difference between 7 and 5, that is 2, and multiply it with 27 is to 70. That will become 7 into 10, 70, 5 into 10, 50, 27 into 2, 54. 17 into 2, 34. So, when you take the difference 70 minus 54 and 50 minus 34, both are 16 unit. So, 1 unit will be 40 by 16 is equal to 5 by 2. Here, this is 70 unit and this is 50 unit. So, the sum will be 70 plus 50 into 5 by 2 because this is 70 unit, this is 50 unit. Total 120 unit. 120 unit into 1 unit is equal to 5 by 2. So your answer will be 120 into 5 by 2 is equal to 16 to 5 is equal to 300. So option B is your answer.